Far out in the deep blue sea, where adventures are born, there lived a legend about a giant whale named Moby Dick and a brave captain named Ahab. Captain Ahab stood firmly on the deck of his ship, the Pequod. His eyes, like burning coals, scanned the endless ocean. Crew, he roared, his voice echoing over the waves. Our mission is grander than any ordinary whale hunt. We seek Moby Dick, a whale like no other. Ishmael, a young sailor with dreams of the sea, approached cautiously. Captain Ahab, what makes this whale so important? Ahab tapped his wooden leg, a constant reminder of his encounter with the whale. Moby Dick took my leg. This is not just a hunt, it's a quest for revenge. The sailors, a mix of old and young, looked at each other, sensing the weight of Ahab's words. Their journey was not just for whale oil, it was personal for their captain. As days turned to weeks, the Pequod sailed through calm and stormy seas. Ishmael, curious and eager, learned the ways of the sea and found a friend in Queequeg, a harpooner from a distant island. Queequeg's tattoos, intricate patterns covering his skin, told silent tales of his past. One bright day, as the sun danced on the waves, the cry came, Whale ho! But it wasn't Moby Dick. It was a smaller whale. The crew hurried into their smaller boats, called whaling boats. Ishmael felt a rush of adrenaline, a feeling of excitement and nervousness. He gripped his harpoon tightly. Remember, aim true, Queequeg advised, his eyes focused on the whale. Ishmael threw his harpoon with all his might and struck the whale. Well done, Ishmael, Queequeg exclaimed, a broad smile on his face. Ishmael felt a sense of pride. He was becoming a true whaleman. The journey continued, filled with similar encounters. Each whale brought oil and food, but the elusive Moby Dick remained a shadow in their tails. Then, on a day when the sky was a canvas of grey and blue, Ahab's shout pierced the air. There! Moby Dick! The whale was a giant, its body as white as snow and as big as a hill. Ahab's eyes sparkled with a mix of madness and excitement. The chase was intense. The small boats heaved and tossed on the waves, closing in on the mighty whale. Moby Dick moved with surprising grace, diving deep and then leaping into the sky. Its size and power were awe-inspiring. Ahab, with determination in his eyes, threw his harpoon. But Moby Dick was swift. The whale's massive tail struck Ahab's boat, sending splinters flying. Ishmael, clinging to a piece of wood, watched as Ahab and Moby Dick seemed locked in an epic struggle, a battle that seemed larger than life. Finally, the sea grew calm. Moby Dick disappeared beneath the waves, taking Ahab with him. Adrift and alone, Ishmael reflected on the vastness of the ocean and the bravery of those who challenge it. He was rescued after a long, lonely night by another ship.